Spirits are running high again in downtown Franklin. The first distillery inside city limits since Prohibition is open for business and officially on Tennessee's Whiskey Trail. And as we found out, they aren't horsing around. We are in historic downtown Franklin. This is a building dating back in the 1800s. In 1890, um, John Blackburn renovated the building um, to be a livery stable. And it transitioned after that, many years after that, to our local newspaper. Now we are a distillery with a bar built around the stables. <laughs> <laughs> Beth Goodwin is one of the owners of the Stable Reserve, located on the iconic Main Street in Franklin. We wanted to be coffee to cocktails all day, but we wanted it local and something you could only do in Franklin. So we started on a hunt for what the local spirits would look like, what the local coffee would look like. The coffee is roasted locally by Narrowgate Coffee, which is mission-based. They train guys coming out of um, hard situations or just looking for a reboot on life and um, they might time out of orphan care and there are men that train them in coffee roasting, leather, woodworking, um, auto repair and so we just really liked what they were doing in our community and wanted to partner with them. The spirits are made down the road at Stable Reserve's warehouse. Vodka, gin, and whiskey. From this end and then out through the line arm. Hunter Yeager owns Stable Reserve alongside Beth. We're at Stable Reserve's warehouse, which is houses our uh, still. The still here is a 200 gallon pot still with a column on it. Uh, it's got a four plate column. Uh, today we're running gin, so we're distilling gin. We're using our non-GMO uh, vodka base. The profiles of these spirits are distinct. The vodka distilled 10 times in charcoal filtered. The gin features 14 botanicals and is citrus forward rather than juniper and finishes with white pepper. So we've got three of the botanicals that we're showcasing. We've got chamomile, which, I mean, you can smell it. It has just a super fresh, awesome, it's all organic. Um, we've got the orris root. The orris root turns out to be the root of the state flower, the iris, oh, yeah. here in Tennessee. I, I read so, that. That's cool. Yeah, so uh, we incorporated that one. Um, and then, of course, it's juniper, which juniper is going to be the leading uh, in any yeah. gin, which right. makes it a gin. So you've got glasses here. So what does that mean? Yeah, whoever's brave can taste, but I'm, probably... I, I think I have to smell it. I mean, yes, yeah. I would definitely recommend smelling it. So. Um, you'll pick up definitely, definitely a hint of the gin, and it's going to be hot again. It's 160 proof. You're going to you're going to detect the high alcohol in this. Should I do it? How brave are you? I mean, it's going to have a uh, it's going to have a kick. <laughs> Woo! Okay. It's a little bit much. Maybe you won't wait till noon. But um, <laughs> cheers. Just roll it until it's the, the bung is straight down. Keep going. There you go. I'm helping dump a single barrel selection of the Stable Reserve's eight-year weeded bourbon. Coming out about 113 proof and smooth. Hey, that's the charcoal. That's the char, yep, yep. That's what makes a bourbon. That's, that's what gives it flavor right there, yep. Every day is a good day for Hunter. It doesn't feel like work, so yeah, yeah, it's a good day. They bottle at the warehouse and will eventually bottle more on Main Street so the public can watch. Brody Arbeiter is a former firefighter, but now does a little of everything at Stable Reserve, including bartending alongside Lindsay Fisher. The goal with all the spirits here is to make sure they hold up in the cocktails made on Main Street. We got a taste of four of their most popular. The South Side is made with gin, mint, and lime. But this is a great drink for spring or summer. It's very refreshing. You won't find this vodka cocktail anywhere else. It's Lindsay's personal creation. I'm using our vodka here at Stable Reserve, and I'm infusing this with fresh jalapeno for 24 hours. Uh, so that's the base of this cocktail. Add grapefruit, lime juice, and agave syrup. We're going to garnish this with some fresh jalapeno pepper and a little piece of lemon. And there you go. Tres hombres. 
Stable Reserve is known for its old fashioned, but the most requested drink? This is the espresso martini. This is uh, our flagship cocktail because all the ingredients used are our own. This is our own coffee cream liqueur that we put in it. Shake it up, throw a couple garnished espresso beans on there. All right, there we go. Echoes of the past remain and help make the atmosphere what it is. Columns from the original livery stables still stand. The two inch thick walnut floors are original. Even the tasting boards are made from the building's old wood floors. So this is our taste five, um, five different of our spirits. While Stable Reserve has already won national awards for its cream liqueurs, bourbon and gin, the spirits are secondary. This place was created by two Franklin natives who love their city and wanted to create a gathering place for their community. Yeah, the feedback we get is very in line with this place feels different when we come in. Hometown, authentic, genuine. We want it to be not ours, but for everyone. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.